percentage error. This concept appears quite frequently in IB Math Studies exams and is quite easy once we're comfortable with applying the percentage error formula. So let's talk through that formula now, and it's in your formula book. The symbol for percentage error is a reverse three looking symbol. And percentage error is equal to, we have these vertical lines, and these mean the absolute value, and I'll talk about that in a second. But it's VA minus VE, and again, this is in your formula book, so you don't need to remember it, but after a while you get, you'll get the hang of it. It's a pretty easy one to remember. Times by 100%. And this here is simply to turn our answer into a percentage. Now, let's talk about the absolute value symbols, these two vertical lines. What that basically means, absolute value, is this fraction inside the absolute value symbols, if it turns out to be negative, all we simply do is turn it into a positive. If it is positive, we leave it as a positive. So the result of this absolute value, it will always be positive. Our answer here, and because we're timesing by a positive number, we will always have a positive here. We're going to be timesing by a positive here. So our answer for percentage error will always, it has to be a positive number. That's all these do. All you need to remember is if this turns out to be negative, just remove the negative sign and change it to a positive. Okay, so that's the absolute value signs. Let's talk about VA. VA is our approx value, our approximate. So that's say an estimate, what someone estimates the quantity to be, as opposed to our VE, which is our exact value. And usually in IB studies questions, we get the exact value through, do a cal through doing a calculation. Then a follow-up question will be, um, David estimated that the quantity was this, so therefore determine his percentage error. So let's just do a quick example. Let's say that I estimate there to be, and this is my VA, because it's my estimate. Let's say I estimate there to be 950 people in a crowd. And then we count it. We count the people, so our exact value is actually a thousand people. And the question will say, well, calculate the percentage error of your initial estimate, which is 950. Well, let's go and apply the percentage error formula. So it equals the absolute value of 950, that's my VA, subtract my exact 1000, all divided by my exact 1000, close the absolute value uh, symbol, and then multiply by 100% to turn this into a percentage. So let's just quickly find what 950, so 950 subtract 1000, all divided by 1000. So that's minus, and I'll get it as a decimal, minus 0.05. And I haven't actually converted the absolute value yet. I'll do that on the next step. So here, well, we have a negative number within the absolute value symbol. All we simply do is turn it into a positive. So this will become positive 0.05 multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percentage. And 0 0.05 times 100 is just 5. So our answer is 5% was our uh, percentage error on that initial estimate. And that is the key concept for percentage error.